guys welcome back to my channel this is hungry eye with ivy where we do interiors diys and lifestyle as well happy happy new year from me to you and to your family as well so this new year i have decided a lot of people have asked me why i do not come to this channel when i say a lot of people i mean my friends and my family why don't i show my face here anymore it's because most of the time I do DIYs only, but this year I've decided that sometimes we'll be doing a little bit of a sit down where me and you get to have a conversation on matters interior design. So, first of all, I'd like to say a big, big fat thank you from me to you for all the subscribers that I got last year and for all the views that I got especially on the wardrobe video oh my lord you guys have overworked on that video and I am extremely excited extremely extremely excited and I want to say a big fat thank you to you and your family and a lot of people have watched 92% of you guys have watched and not subscribed. Kindly subscribe. Kindly, kindly subscribe. Let's get me to 500 subscribers in the next few months. Deal. Okay, so for today, when it comes to matters interior design, I think I should label this section of the channel Matters Interior Design with Hand Ivy. Anyway. Straight to the point, because I've realized when I do a sit down, I tend to talk a lot without going to the point. So today I did notes, I have notes on what I'm going to talk about. So today we're going to talk about doing um, an expensive or an ex a luxurious looking interior on a budget. Because a lot of people say that interior design is very expensive to do which i'm not going to downplay it it's very expensive to do into a proper proper interior design so today i'm going to tell you how you can do proper interior design within your budget so the first point uh i'm going to talk about going two ways first is the one kenyans usually like and that one is Pinterest. You guys go on Pinterest to pick and pick and pick and then pour it down into your house. So I'm going to talk about that, but I'm going to begin with going the way of hiring an interior designer, which is what I am. So first of all, if you want to do interior design, a luxurious interior design on a budget using an interior designer, it is good for you to first get your interior designer to do drawings of your house so they'll take uh, whatever the architect did um, take those images take those plans and everything and they're going to work on them and put the interior design details into it and in case you're wondering what I mean by interior design simply put finishing it is the finishing of your house your, your architect does the interior the sorry the structure the interior designer does the finishing. When I'm talking about finishing, I mean lighting, flooring, walls, wallpaper or paintwork, tiles or whatever, whatever you decide to do in your house. That is what finishing entails. So it's not curtains, respectfully. <laughs> interior design. I know most people usually say, so when you learn sewa curtains, okay, we can help you to pick and choose curtains, but mostly that is interior decoration. Interior design is dealing with finishing. Now that we are clear, um, once you've gotten the drawings for the house, the, a proper interior designer should do for you at least three options for different designs for the whole house. So they can give you three options for the kitchen, three options for the bedroom, three options for the bathroom, three options for everything. So first of all, you can sit down with the interior designer, have a mood board, choose the theme that you would like, um, choose the colors that you would like based on the theme that you've chosen, and then do the drawings. Once your interior designer has done the drawings, 
and has given you recommendation for tiling uh, for paintwork nini nini you choose one of the three designs from each and every drawing the key of getting an interior designer they get a theme and they run it through your whole house so that you don't have the kitchen looking like a different house the be bedroom looking like a different house like your whole house looks like different houses in one so when you get a theme when you get a des an interior designer who does a theme for you does proper colors does proper tiling to go with your theme proper um, flooring paint work everything to go with your theme it makes it easier for you so once you've chosen what you want to get done uh, what i would recommend for you to do is to um because this will be a long tedious process i need for you to go and check like for example if it's tiles go to goodwill go to other um companies that sell tiles check and see this is the tile that i want how much does this company do how much does this other company do so that way when you get a proper estimate of the prices of different things not just tiles just even paint work go to duracoat go to crown paints check all these companies and see what is affordable for you and once you've done that you don't start fast just go and it's it will be cheaper for you to go and get it at a wholesale price so for example you've decided this is the tile that i want go and buy up in bulk buy um paint in bulk buy all these things in bulk like buy things like mdf boots buy them in bulk someone usually says when you want to start constructing buy sand buy cement buy this this and that have them there and then you need to also search for fundies who do these different things. Don't just pick an amazing interior design work from your interior designer and you have no idea which fundi is going to do, implement that work on your, on, your, um, on your house. So I need you to go buy things like gypsum. You can buy in bulk. Get a fundi to do an estimate for you. Now, because you have an interior designer, you know per square meter, of how much gypsum you need per square meter i mean how many square meters are in your house so you know how much gypsum you're going to buy you know how much floor tiles you're going to buy you know how much paint you're going to buy so it's easier for you to do it that way so once you've figured out the prices it becomes easier for you to look down and say for example um with all these prices i've gotten the total i will need for this house is like one million let's say for example so you tell yourself i have five hundred thousand with this five hundred thousand you pick and choose what you can do which is why i said you can do it in sections or choose to go the other way which is like buy certain things in bulk that you need in bulk like grout and the like you can buy such things in blood in bulk, bulk like top coats such things you can start buying in bulk or you can choose to start doing a section so that it's easier for you to complete the house because once you start seeing progress it even puts your mind at ease another thing i would recommend for you is to do the work in sections you see the same way it's easier for you to wash your hair in sections when it's a lot of hair do the work in sections i promise you you will not feel the weight of doing the interior design once you've sectioned the house for example if you're building a whole house i need you to start with the places that uh, people are going to see first when they're coming to your house probably you can do the sitting room first focus on the sitting room save up for the sitting room and just um, do the sitting room only if you feel like you don't have money to buy everything so that you're buying it in bulk go and just focus on one room do the sitting room finish the sitting room magizana nayo you're done go to the kitchen finish the kitchen you're done go to the bedrooms now there you can do your work slowly and always know that interior design is work in progress you can do something today change it tomorrow by next year you will not have the same interior design so i just need for you to pick your room slowly 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 do the least important one at the end okay and those are the tips for getting an interior design 
when you decide to go the Pinterest way, this is what you will do. You need to know how to create a mood board. So for example, you want to do your kitchen. I need you to go on Pinterest. Pick each and everything you feel is good. Pick all of them. Put them on your, what are they usually called? They are called boards on Pinterest. Put all of them there. And then now from everything you've chosen, go and pick um, from the theme that you've decided you want, go and pick the favorites. For example, if it's rustic, pick the best rustic one among the ones that you've chosen. Okay, so once you've picked the best ones, now put them on a board. Look at your house and compare it to the design you have chosen. What looks like it can be implemented to look the same in your own house. So it's harder when you don't have an interior designer, but it's what most people do because you do not have the money to pay an interior designer, which is understandable. It's better than hiring me and not paying me. So Another thing you need to do is know how to take measurements of your house. Because when you go, for example, to go buy paint, they'll ask you how many square meters. Go buy tiles, they'll ask you how many square meters. So they can know what they're selling to you. So you need to know the size of your house. Take a, uh, Invest in a tape measure, which is not even a lot of money, I've forgotten how much it is. But go and buy a tape measure. Measure each and everything and make sure you put in a little bit of allowance in each and every measurement that you do. It's better to have a little bit excess than to have less. Okay? Because you might decide to buy a box of tiles. By the time you're going back, that type of tiles is no longer available. So that means you either remove the tiles or put tiles that do not look the same, that look offish. So that is what I would advise for you to do. And once you've taken the measurements, you have your mood board, you know the colors. Now you can go back and start from going to get recommendation for prizes. The way we've done for internet and get into the uh, sorry get recommendation for different prices, get prices for everything that you need, figure out affordable places to get them, buy them in bulk if you can, or do the working sections. And that is it for today. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And do not forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.